Today for Find Your Science, we'll be joined by Dr. Don C. Bragg, a research forester with the U.S. Forest Service Station here at UAM's College of Agriculture, Forestry, and Natural Resources. He'll be sharing with us a little bit about tree cookies and interpreting tree rings. <laughs> All right, so this is a tree cookie. Uh, the middle part here is the pith of the tree. This is the tr earliest age of the tree. To be able to count the rings on a tree, you go out from this very interior part and you just count each of the rings you can clearly see as you go out towards the edge of the tree. Out here, this is the bark. So you quit counting when you come to the final part here. The bark, you don't count for the ring age. Uh, and so in that process, you'll be able to get a sense for how old the tree happens to be. How old tree. is this tree? I have no idea. I haven't counted it. Okay. Shall we count it? Let's count her. All right. So starting from the pith, we have one ring there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So this tree is about thirty years old. It's an approximation. Sometimes the trees do not actually put out a ring or they put out more than one ring in a year but most of the time it's just a single ring per year. These right here are the traces of branches that would reach out. The other thing you can do is you can actually look at um, the different rings here. So the ring consists of this lighter portion and then the darker portion. That's one year's worth of growth. The lighter portion is what the tree puts down early in the growing season. So starting probably in, in uh, April or so, it'll start growing. Uh, in diameter and it starts adding wood and then it as it gets drier in the summer and it slows its growth uh, it starts putting down this darker portion of the ring and so the relative width so the wider that this light portion is uh, typically the better the growing conditions uh, but the same is true for this darker portion uh, the wider that is uh, the better the growing condition happens to be um, Young trees will add growth quicker than older trees or as the tree gets older. Uh, but again, that, that also depends a little bit as well. And so if it's a dry year, uh, we might have had, for example, right through here, this might have been a dry year. Notice how thin the ring is in the light portion and thin also in the dark portion. And uh, the wider it goes, you can see it was dry here probably. But then a couple years later, notice how much wider it got in both the light colored and the darker portion. That was probably a wet year. And that's how we record that. Can we see other things from trees? Rings? Most certainly can. So this is a part of a tree, an old tree, uh, that had died uh, recently. It was blown over in a storm, but you can see out here, this is the outer part of the tree. Uh, this is a fire scar. Uh, you can sort of see a little bit of the darker charring. Uh, but what had happened was, over the years, it had been burned, there had been fires passing through multiple times, and we've kind of sanded it out, and if you know what you're looking for, they're kind of faint, but this right here, right here, uh, right here, right here, probably right here, uh, right here, right here, right here, and right here, are additional fire scars. So there's about 10 fires there. There's probably about 10 fires recorded over this uh, span of time, which might be you know, maybe uh, 50 or 80 years worth of growth. Um, so these trees were probably, this tree itself was probably getting burned uh, during that time period, uh, about once every five to 10 years. And this is a short leaf pine? That's a loblolly pine. A loblolly pine. Actually, different part of the tree. What you can see though, uh, in comparison, so at this end of the tree when it was young, you can see how relatively quick the growth was. Uh, it slows down as it gets bigger and starts competing with other trees, but still has reasonable growth. But then it slows down continuously over time. Uh, and as it gets towards the point where it blew down, it blew down in uh, about a year or two ago but you can really have to look closely to be able to see the growth rings there. Uh, and we estimated this tree was about 275 years old when it, when it finally was uh, blown over. 
uh, in a storm. 275 years old and at least we fi figured 10 fires through at the at course least of 10, its life. At least 10 fires. And all trees have rings? Um, no, all trees do not have rings. Most of the ones we have in our part of the world will have rings uh, because they have very uh, fixed growing seasons. Um, some tree rings are not very visible and so unless you know what you're looking for you may not see them. Uh, pines like uh, these cookies here have very visible growth rings uh, so they're very easy to age uh, but not all trees um, grow in this fashion so it can be harder to tell. And so if kids wanted to go and learn about trees, they could maybe look at tree stumps or chunks of two by fours, they'd be able to you, find rings? You can see rings in boards. You can see rings on cut stumps uh, or logs, uh, pieces of firewood. Um, Sometimes you can even see rings you in can, your pencil. You can, yeah, if you look closely and you know what you're looking for, you can see them in the pencil. You can see them on some of your furniture. So, so 4-H, take an opportunity to find your science and, and count the age of a tree. And as always, may the forest be with you.